Well, I met Forrest Whitaker. I was making a film uh, with Neil Young, um, uh, Year of the Horse, a film about Crazy Horse, his band. And I was shooting that film mostly on Super 8. And in La uh, Los Angeles, in the valley, there's the Super 8 sound, a, a place that processes Super 8 film. So I would go there and, uh, you know, get film material or they would transfer what I'd shot and show me it. And in the parking lot, I met Forrest Whitaker, who I hadn't met before. And he had a Super 8 film camera. He was interested in Super 8 and uh, he was at the lab. And I, we just started talking in the parking lot because I, I was a fan of his as an actor, but I'd never met him and I didn't have an idea for him. And he said to me very sincerely, you know, often actors say, hey, we should do something together sometime, you know. But Forrest, he said it very sincerely, he said, you know, man, if you ever think of me, I'd love to do something with you, anything. So just, I'm, you know, know that I mean that. And I knew, and I knew he meant that because he, he's that kind of person, you know. So I took that away. I didn't have a project really in my head. I had some, some ideas, but then I, I started building thoughts in my head around working with Forrest in a kind of character that I had not seen him play before. So I kind of started pulling that film together. It was also a kind of collage of ideas, like often my films are. I was interested in, in Eastern philosophy. I was interested in samurai culture um, and samurai films. I was interested in hip hop. Um, I was interested in in post-bop jazz, you know, so all of these things kind of informed the film in some way. And I started collecting elements. I was interested in crime films. I was interested in, I was very interested in the New York um, organized crime families because in the neighborhood I lived was the Gambino family and they were always on the street. I saw them every day hanging around. Their social club was right there. So I had some interaction with them. I was interested in their decline because they really weren't, they really weren't happening much anymore, you know? So I, I was interested in that just kind of culturally and how, why, is the, why are these New York crime families waning and their worlds being enclosed? That was another element that sort of entered into the film. So I kind of collected all these things, but building them around a very solid character that Forrest Whitaker would portray that would have a code of his own that the rest of the world would, wouldn't follow or recognize and that would not affect his code, that he would not be deterred from it, you know? And of course, samurai culture and the samurai code and the book, uh, the Hagakure, um, The Way of the Samurai, uh, which I had read and read a lot about that culture and because I was interested in Japanese cinema and saw a lot of samurai movies and then consequently read a lot about that whole philosophy. So I kind of just took all those pieces and started collaging them together in my head and then making notes and with Forrest as the center, you know, the real impetus to make the film. And then uh, this is the resulting film. And I got the RZA who was you know, I was a big fan of the Wu-Tang since their first record. And people, you know, I always think, who is my ideal, what musician, who was the one musician on the planet I'd like to get for this film? And it was the RZA right away. So then I found a way to, to meet the RZA and, to, you know, hang out with him a little bit and see if he might be interested. And, and so all those pieces kind of came together. And I sort of sculpted them into this script and then into the film itself. Again, shot by Robbie Mueller. Was it an easy shoot? Was it an enjoyable shoot? It wasn't so easy because it was quite a big crew because when you shoot in the New York area now, unlike when I started, um, you, that you have a lot of union obligations. So I had quite a large crew and that was a little frustrating at times because I'm used to driving along and seeing a location and saying, stop, stop, I want to shoot here. Well, you can't do that when you have all these trucks and rules and, you know. So it was, there were frustrating things about it, but it was also a really great crew of people and an interesting, an interesting experience fil filming. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't always, uh, 
a party or anything like that, you know, like down by law kind of was. <laughs> yeah, it does look like it might have been. Yeah, it was kind of a wild shoot. And that was so much fun, almost too much fun, that we never slept, you know. So Ghost Dog was different, but uh, they're all different. 